Amir Khan has once again stated that he has no interest in facing UK welterweight rival Kel Brook anytime soon. This really does look like one of those fights that was supposed to happen, but is never going to happen. And you can look through boxing history, it's littered with examples fr from uh, the past, like Lennox Lewis, Riddick Bowe, they never fought as professionals when it seemed that they should, but they didn't. And for UK fans, a lot of people wanted to see Ricky Hatton versus uh, Junior Witter. That also never took place. This right here with Khan and Brook looks to be the same type of situation. Maybe it will. Maybe Khan at some stage will get desperate enough that he'll want a payday but, you know, against Kel Brook. But he'll have to take another loss or maybe another couple losses of Khan. And it will, take, it will have to take Brook getting into an elevated position. Maybe having a few world titles, etc., etc., and being a pay-per-view star. Then maybe Khan will be desperate enough to actually take that Brook fight. And I do use the word desperate. Uh, very pointedly, some people some people might take offense to that, but that's just my opinion and the way I see it. Anyway, as far as what Khan actually said, he was talking to the BBC earlier this week. He said, I've fought the best fighters in the world and still am fighting the best fighters in the world. I'm still the number one position for the best world titles in the world as well. But the thing with Kel Brook, I just think there's no point because he's not fighting the A-list fighters. I'm taking tough punishment fighting the best fighters in the world and Kell Brook's fighting the easy guys. He wants to fight me. He wants to make big money. He wants to make easy money fighting me. So I'm not going to give him the opportunity. I just want him to prove himself. And if he proves himself and fights even half of the fighters I fought, then I'll take the fight. Why should I give him that opportunity when he doesn't deserve it? <laughs> All right, that's Amir Khan. Talking to the BBC. Uh, what can I say? Khan, for whatever reason, whatever reason you want to come up with, whatever reason he wants to come up with, he has no interest in fighting Kell Brook. And this is why I believe this fight will probably never happen. Unless, as I say, Khan loses another few times and Brook manages to get into a very elevated position. And then Khan will be the B-side in that situation. If Khan ends up being the B-side, maybe the fight will happen. But as long as he is the A-side, and when I say A-side, I'm talking about his market value in world boxing. He does appear to be the A-side at this point. Maybe some people will disagree with that. Maybe some people think that Kell Brook actually has a higher market value than Amir Khan at the moment. Now, I was talking to somebody, shout out to Liam. I was talking to Liam. He's a guy that I chat to from Sheffield. And he disputes the idea that Amir Khan is a bigger name at the moment than Kell Brook, at least in the UK. He says that Khan hasn't been filling out arenas in the UK. There's been a lot of empty seats the past couple of times he's fought in the UK. But he says Kell Brook does pack out arenas in the UK and there are no empty seats or very few. So I don't know, maybe some of you guys can... Debate that in the comment section below. Who's the bigger name currently in UK boxing? Amir Khan or Kill Brook? I would personally say Amir Khan, even though he's coming off a loss and what have you. But you let me know what you think. And do you think this fight right here, Khan against Kill Brook, will never happen? I think most of us are of that viewpoint at this moment in time. Let me know how you feel, people. It's your boy Hatman. I'm out.